Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to the Brewery Field for what might be an historic afternoon in the FA Trophy as Spennymoor host Plymouth Parkway competing in their first ever FA Trophy campaign. The winner of today's cup tie will enter the last 16 of the competition and both sides go into this one this afternoon being just four games from Wembley. So we think in a 4-3-3 that Jordan Amissa is in goal. The back four right to left, Kenton Richardson, Joe Tate, the captain James Curtis and Ethan Pye. Three midfielders, Jamie Chandler, Andrano Make and Brad Abbott. With Rob Ramshaw wide left, Ryan Hall wide right and Glenn Taylor through the middle. Plymouth have got a healthy number of bodies forward. It'll be taken by Ryan Lane, an outswinging corner. They've got a short option in Williams, but Lane looks like he's going to swing it into the box himself. What he does, outswing there towards the middle. Not a bad ball, actually, headed away by Ramshaw. Where Moke will pick up possession, edge of the box, and find it onto Hall really, really nicely. And here's a break on here now for Spenny. Ryan Hall gallivanting forward down the far side. He's beating everybody towards the penalty area. He's at a wide, wide angle. He tries a shot, which is pushed away well by the goalkeeper, and cleared away by that was Callum Hall back there, the attacker back there. Just short of the halfway line. Square to Chandler inside the centre circle for Spennymore. Crosses the halfway line with it right to left and brings it on forward now to Pye. Got Hall outside of him, but Pye has to turn it back to Curtis on the halfway once again. Curtis will try a diagonal ball towards the far side to Richardson. And now that's good football from Richardson to find it onto Moke. Deep cross towards Taylor, who's unmarked, wins the header, which is just wide. And the keeper's left hand post, really good chance. The referee wants a word with somebody here. That person is Jamie Chandler. Not too sure why. Causing the uh, the problem. And he's going to go off. He's going to be replaced by Tom Bass. And he's uh, not moving off the field too discomfortly. But uh, can't carry on. And it's going to be a change of tact, I would think. Because... Curtis, he can bring the ball forward himself for Moores here. The ball looking for Hall, not to find him. And second ball might find Abbott's way. just hear Jessica to shout, sorry there as well. Um, but the, it's back in partway possession again. That's a good looking ball towards Craig. Chess it down. Good footwork as well from the partway now. Dispersed by Chan. Can turn it on square to Moke. Full of energy so far in his name is Adrian and Moke. Got Chandler outside of him. Moke finds Chandler. Good crossing position. Pulls it back towards Taylor from six yards. It's a really good save. Bounces around. It should get cleared. It will be cleared. A really good save from the goalkeeper. Push that ball away. And now in with Ryan Hall though. He can get a cross in as well. Not a bad one towards the back post. In fact, anyway, everybody thought might have maybe crept in. Maybe that back post. But it's another really good chance. A ball in from the right hand side, which falls on Glenn Taylor's head from six yards. Yeah, they're really great into the game. And here they come again, Parkway. It's with Williams on his near side, running at the Spennymoor defenders. And forward ahead, ahead of him is Craig, who's had a penalty here. Onto his right foot, can pull a low cross in, but to keep possession with. Pulled back, shot comes in and in! Parkway lead. And it's Tom Bath who fires it in from eight or nine yards. 29 on the clock, and it's the away side. The side from the eighth tier. Plymouth Parkway, who leads Spennymoor in the fourth round of the trophy. He came off the bench. He started from the bench. He came on after an injury. He's good at football down his near side. Cross came in. Really good hold-up play. I think it was by Hall. He managed to turn and give it square onto Bath on a plate. To side foot into the keeper's bottom left corner. It's a good header from Ethan Pye. Falls on towards Moke. He left foot. So the ball falls towards Ramshaw. It's a good touch from him. Oh, it's really good defending. and Recovery defending from Kraft. It needed to be. He puts down the ball looking for Bath, which Tate has then fouled Bath. Again, trying to be a bit too keen to get the ball back, and Bath goes down, stays down. Will he be needed? Physio will be needed for him? I think they're off four in the box, he wants to cross it instead, but I think he can have a go from here. In it comes, shot comes in, not a bad one, the keeper pushes it behind for a corner. Jumping and diving away from the left hand side of the misser, who is heading right for the inner side netting there, I think. In this game, Plymouth Parkway, they've got, of course, they are in a cup tie like this, away as a side of two divisions above them. But so far, they're getting it. Just those little, nearly moments 
Well, that's a lovely ball. Ramshaw's in. He's one on one. Around the goalkeeper he goes. Surely Rob Ramshaw. He's going to be off the line, is he? It is. Just about off the line. But who was that? Number six. Mike Landrican. Was it Callum Rose? I think it was Callum Rose. But Ramshaw, as soon as he goes on the keeper, he should be scoring, really, shouldn't he? He should be putting his, his laces through that and, and finding the back of the net. But fair play. Good defender from Plymouth Parkway. Parkway are in here. Curtis dives in, doesn't quite win the fat, doesn't quite win the ball. Here they come inside the penalty area. Shot comes in, what a fantastic save! The goalkeeper cleared away, and it deflects off a spenny more man. No, it hit a part of man and go behind for a goal kick. An unbelievable save that is from Jordan Amissa. Going to be Brad Abbott who leaves the field for Luke Spokes for spenny more. Abbott sprints off to his credit, doesn't uh, make a fuss about substitution. He's straight off Luke Spokes. Into the action and spending while a free kick just out of the centre circle. Right to Andrew, digs out across, hits Spokes, won't go out of play, Spokes can clear it away towards Taylor, who just flicks it. Oh, that's got to be a foul. That's a natty challenge on Glenn Taylor. Very, very high uh, from Callum Rowe. Definite yellow card challenge. Chance of off. I think it would be un very unlucky. And maybe a little bit harsh to be a red card, but it went right to the back of Glenn Taylor there. We're never going to let him turn. And uh, it's a definite yellow card. So free kick for Spennymore. It's a good cross position on the far side. Spokes will take it from the Spennymore left. In swing cross. Not a bad one towards the middle. Curtis heads it. It hits the goalkeeper. Bats around. Flicked over the bar by a defender. It lands on the roof of the net. It'll be a corner. How has that not found the back of the net? I think it was James Curtis with the header. <coughs> Spokes will take it. Out swing corner from this near side of Spennymore right. In it comes, it's a floater ball, right on top of the goalkeeper, headed away, bounces towards Moke, volleys it over the bar! He lashes at it from eight yards out, and he's now going to leave the field as well, he's being substituted. Chandler Square to find Spokes, halfway inside the parkway half, everybody, apart from the penalty goalkeeper, inside the parkway half here, Paul Hearn with some good footwork, will he try a shot here, he's still going, he's on a penalty area, can he pull it back towards the bar line, cross comes in, towards Ramshaw, towards Richardson, he's off the line, he's cleared away! It hit Richardson, I think, and it doesn't somehow. How has that not crossed the line? I think it headed it in the wrong direction. The keeper held it on its way. Not certainty to go in, but here comes Spenny Moore again. Ramshaw back to Mulhern. He crosses in from deeper this time. Headed clear towards the far side, towards Anderson. Headed up in the air again. Anderson gets underneath that one, plays it back to Spokes. He turns away from trouble and gives it back to Curtis on the halfway line. 78 on the clock. It's still Spenny Moore nil. Plymouth Park by one. But here comes Spenny Moore again. It's on towards Ethan Pye. Good crossing position on the far side. Towards the bar line. Cross comes in towards Richard again. Turn this ball out of the bar. He finds Taylor and he can only poke it over the bar. Kenton Richardson, who I was shocked to see up there once, was up there twice and couldn't quite get a finishing touch. Do you make a change before you defend the corner? You don't see it very often. But he's going to do that in his man to mark as Kenton Richardson. I it, think it, it's just height. Anderson again over this corner, six to go, in it comes, in swing, another good ball, towards the middle, towards James Curtis, head off the line, this ball towards Spokes, towards, towards go is in! Spenny Moore equalised! They grab the ball and run to the halfway line, they want another! And it's Luke Spokes! The resilient defence of Plymouth Parkway is breached with six minutes to go, and Spenny Moore level! Another wicked ball in towards the back post, with Claire thing off the line, and it bounces towards Luke Spokes, who side foots it in! It went through a crowd of bodies. It finds the back of the net. It's not the. It's quite a scruffy goal, but with what's many more moves, it doesn't matter more. Towards the corner flag, trying to win something. He won a corner for spending more with three and a half to go on the clock. The Plymouth Parkway bench are just looking at each other, trying to work out what they could do. I think they're going to make another change, which looking at who's taking the bib off is, a, is the tallest man that's on that bench, which is not a surprise. Whichever team goes out from this position, get full respect because they've put everything possible at it. In comes the corner, towards the back post, towards Joe Taylor, where's the header? Towards Mulher, and it's in! It's Ethan Pine! I think it was Ramshaw. Who was it? They got a final turn, I don't know. With melee of bodies, it's Ramshaw. who pokes it in. And Spennymore turned it around. They lead this game by two goals to one. What a game of football. Here's Rob Ramshaw, the header at the back post from Joe Tate. A really good corner from Anderson towards the back post. Tate headed it back across the goal. And Ramshaw was there underneath the crossbar to poke it in. Underneath the goalkeeper. There's three minutes to go and now suddenly the table's turned completely. And Spennymore lead this game two goals in three minutes. It's Spennymore two, Plymouth Parkway one. We've played 87 and a bit minutes.
What a game of football. Mad. Madness. Absolute chaos there. Um, Look, I think it's a more, I honestly think that celebrations are more of a sense of relief than anything. It's all about using your substitutes as well, isn't it? Mark Anderson took both set pieces which they scored from. From the restart, it's been a bad aerial challenge on Ethan Pye, which you're going to see the referee go to his notebook. And uh, I'm not sure what colour the card's going to be either. It is a yellow card. A little, no, it's not. It's a red card. It's a second yellow. It was the number five. It's Callum Rose. He's off. His second yellow card for Callum Rose just when you think there's no more action possible can happen in this game well it can Plymouth Parkway will end the game with 10 men it sounds a bit weird because Parkway are now losing this game but it's because of their sort of I, I don't want to say time wasting that would be disrespectful I think in many ways it's because of their sort of gamesmanship shall we say that they're kind of playing at additional time that they're the cause of now in many ways but they try and bring the ball forward they can't do so because Rickson's in to win it back I'm not a chance to say my brilliant factor foul as well. We'll, we'll get to that because here can spend more. Ramdrill has it on this near side. Low cross coming towards Taylor. Back to goal. As he spins, gets a shot in. And that's the name of the game. Taylor makes it 3-1. And that will be that. Glenn Taylor spins, left foot shot. Creeps in off of the keeper's right hand post. Even the goalkeeper's up to celebrate with that one. Spenny Moore will be in the last 16 of the FA Trophy. They've made it hard. Plymouth Parkway made it incredibly hard for them. And fair play to every single player in yellow and blue on that pitch. And the one that's left it as well. They've put absolutely everything on this line. If this game was 84 minutes long, they'd be through. But in the end, Glenn Taylor gets his 18th goal of the season in all competitions. That's that. What an unbelievable game of football. We saw both sides just giving it absolutely everything that they possibly could and in the end Spenny Moore win it by three goals to one but Plymouth Parkway take a bow if you're associated with that football club you've got a club to be incredibly proud of this afternoon and you've got fans to be incredibly proud of as well those 42 fans on the far side applauding their players and deservedly so and I applaud them that have made the very long journey, the 800 mile round trip. They'll be getting home and it'll be gone midnight by the time they do. But they will have seen, if nothing else, an enthralling game of football from the first minute to the last minute.